Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to do a review of the Prusament filament from Jesse Prusa. It's a PLA filament they released a month ago or so and I've been printing several things with this filament and I have good results and I want to show you but let's play the intro and let's have a look. So first a uh, short disclaimer, I bought this filament with my own money, I was not contacted by Prusa or, or Prusa employees about doing this review, it's just my thoughts on the filament I bought from their web store. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the, the spool and, and the filament, and it comes in a, in a nice box and straight with the box you get a, a QR code and a graph with the individual information of that specific spool like for this silver PLA this one has a tolerance of 0.015 and that's the maximum deviation of the tolerances for that particular spool those filaments are sold to be at least 0.02 millimeters in, in tolerance and what I found that some of the spools are 0.01 three even <laughs> so it's a really accurate filament and um, also have the the pink filament and um, they state that the the pink filament has more uh, blended colors in it and um, the tolerance for that one is stated to be 0 0.03 and in my case the the pink filament i got is 0 0.024 so well within the 0 0.03 tolerance they they give out so the tolerances for this filament is, is amazing. Then the, the spool itself it comes on a plastic spool with a paper core. Um, the, the plastic side is really like a hexagon grid. So they minimize the material used on the, on the spool. Uh, the spool is wound crazy accurate and crazy good. So the filament is never crossing. Uh, when they are spooled the filament, so they lay out uh, at a really nice uh, spool. And here on the spool is a this is a information with a with a core code and the date uh, of the production. This one is manufactured in 23rd of October 2018. And here's the code and the ID and information about print temperature. Um, the t nozzle temp is stated to be 205 to 220, so uh, maybe a little bit hotter than the average PLA. And I've been printing with 210 degrees with um, amazing results. And um, here's the information for the heated bed. So those are the spools, and as you can see, it's it's super tight winding, and it's has uh, desiccant on the inside and. And the inside here is a, is a paper core, so when you're done with the spool you can take this apart and, and recycle the plastics and, and the paper core. Uh, so those spools are really nice. <coughs> and each spool comes with a resealable back, so you can open up the back and, and close the back again and have the desk in. So if you are in a moisture environment, it's a really nice uh, to have a resealable back and a big desiccant back with it so you don't have problems with the filament. But let's have a look at some of the prints I did. Uh, I've done quite a lot of printing and I'm really happy with the filaments. So let's have a look at that. So here on the table I have a lot of stuff. Um, first to show you the, the mechanical parts. And here's a print test. Um, this one came out excellent. There was absolutely no issues. Uh, overhangs here are really nice and bridging is really clean and, and those overhangs here are excellent and absolutely no issues to speak of and, and no stringing and here with the, the bridging test this one came out excellent there's a, one tiny strand that I usually get on all filaments uh, but uh, otherwise the, the bridging was very good um, so that was really nice here with a stringing test, absolutely no stringing, and I'm using the, the Slicer Slick 3R Prusa Edition with a default Prusa PLA filament settings, so no tweaking of the settings. This is just pure output of the profile with a filament, and absolutely amazing result. 
Um, here maybe the one one issue I could have in the overhang test here in the 70 degrees there was a little bit of drooping in the in the most steepest part so maybe because I'm I'm printing a little bit hotter than maybe a normal PLA um, that could be the reason for this so this was probably the only issue could I could talk about in the mechanical prints but let's have a look at, at some of the other prints. Um, I did here a, a maker coin and this is the, the black filament and the pink filament and um, those came out absolutely amazing there's absolutely no issues and very smooth and um, the pink filament is excellent and, and the black one has like a silver particles in it so it's, it's uh, like the Prusa frame <laughs> in, in color and, and texture and uh, has a crazy good print and here's another maker coin in the pink also coming out excellent um, you can see how it shines and it's really nice looking filament I did my Mr. Pelly <laughs> mascot <laughs> that one came out excellent also as well no issues with that one um, then my Omnom and, and Otis tests they came out excellent um, yeah, I got one strand of filament standing out I don't know what happened there but the, the surface finish on the back like here is really smooth uh, came out excellent both of those prints and, and no issues and, and no stringing here in the in the here part so those are printed without any infill and, and came out excellent same with the monicat this one came out absolutely perfect and, and no issues so I'm really happy and you can see here how smooth the, the print is it's really really smooth and I did several pencils and those all came out perfect it's the best pencils I've, I've ever seen <laughs> printed myself I think it's amazing how, how good the pencils came out and really smooth and, and no issues and no stringing or drooping or, or any any kind of issues so came out came out excellent um, those were printed both on my Prusa MK3 printer and the MK 2.5 so I was using both of those printers and this came out excellent you can see how, how smooth uh, the underside are it's Amazing how they, how they look. I then printed out the sear layers a lot figure. This is printed out uh, without any infill, so it's just hollow inside. And that one came out excellent and really smooth. Um, not a single single issue with this one. Um, here I printed out this figure. I have to clean out up a little bit of the supports because I was I was using supports to print this one out. But it came out really smooth and like the the curves on the head here in the with the overhang it's absolutely no issues here and as you can see it's pretty pretty steep overhangs but it's really really smooth um, come out excellent with this model and then printed out this cat model the Gibson cat um, I had custom supports in the slicer edition I want to show you how, how they just popped off without any issues and they're really clean and the underside of the print is just very smooth but here on the back it's super smooth it's uh, probably one of the best prints I've ever seen with a 0 0.2 two millimeter layer height it's amazing how smooth uh, the prints can be with this filament and then printed this dragon uh, this one came out excellent as well this one is printed at 0 0.2 as well and, and super, super smooth and absolutely no issues and there's absolutely nothing to to complain about any of those prints they are just looking looking amazing and this boat also came out excellent this one printed on my mk2.5 printer uh, absolutely no issues and very smooth surface on the sides here and, and just awesome print and then printed out two vases and this one i showed on, on twitter earlier this came out excellent you see how how the filament is shining and 
there's absolutely no issues whatsoever anywhere in, in this print it's just super smooth and, and super nice so it looks looks amazing um, then I finally I, I printed out this base in, with a silver PLA and this one came out as well uh, super nice absolutely no issues with it and, and no no visible layer lines it's like super super nice model so those were the prints i did with this filament it's printed out straight away from the prusa slick 3r uh, with the prusa pla filament no settings adjusted just printed with a profile and gave me uh, and it gave me awesome results it's uh, probably the the best filament i've ever tested out uh, on my printers it's amazing how smooth the the layers are on, on the prints even though i'm printing at 0.2 millimeter layer height the prints came out really really smooth and i didn't have any issues it's obvious that the tolerances of the filaments are doing a lot uh, in that regard to get a smooth print but also absolutely no stringing and, and overhang performance was maybe the one issue I had with a synthetic test with a printing the filament at 210 degrees it might need a little bit more cooling than normal because of the print temperature but if you really need to get a steep overhang you can either use supports or, or, or print at a little bit cooler temperatures but um, like overall I was really happy with this filament and it was giving me excellent results so if you hear hear the background noise, I'm sorry, it's some constructions in the building. I <laughs> don't know if it comes through, but uh, for this video, this will be it. If you're wanting to buy an excellent PLA filament, I would highly recommend this filament. It's uh, absolutely the best filament I've ever tested on, on my printers, so I'm really happy with it. But for now, I thank you for watching and hope you subscribe and like and, and share and, and comment on this video and, and let me know what you think. So for now, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.